Hello, good morning. Hi, everyone. It's Susan here um, <clears throat> with a bit of a croaky voice. Um, sorry about that. Um, hope everyone is well, Monday morning. Um, I just thought I'd pop on um, because loads of people in um, pregnancy over classes in particular um, have been talking about anemia and low iron and all that kind of thing. And we all know that the best way to get um, iron into your body, um, whether in pregnancy or postnatally too, um, is eating it by food. Uh, the body absorbs the iron much better, more efficiently from food than it does from taking iron tablets, although sometimes, of course, they are necessary. So um, often things I recommend and midwives recommend too are things like Spartone, these little sachets of iron-rich water. Um, you can drink those in orange juice, you can add them to things, and things like Floridic. But I mentioned in class, one of my pregnancy classes last week, this green smoothie, this kale um, mojito smoothie that I used to drink by the bucket load in pregnancy. And I still really love it. Um, but it's full of iron from the kale, full of vitamin C, helps the iron absorption. Um, and it tastes really yummy. So you can add your Spartone or Floridix to this if you want. Um, you don't have to. Um, and it can just be, well, summer's drink, mint and lime, mojito flavours. There's no alcohol in it, quite obviously, um, but um, it's a really good smoothie. This is my absolute favorite smoothie. Okay, so I'm gonna show you the recipe. I'm gonna write the recipe below too. In here, I've taken the zest of two limes and put it in the bottom of like a blender cup thing. And then to that, I'm gonna put in two limes that I've peeled and quartered. So I've zested it and I've cut off the skin, like peeled the skin, but I've done it with a knife and then I've just quartered it. I'm gonna put that in. So there's two limes. Um, so that's your limey zinginess for the mojito. Um, I've then got an apple chopped up. I leave the skin on, but I take the pips in the middle out. So I've got one apple, adds a bit of sweetness. Um, and then I've got two kiwi fruits. Again, I've taken the skin off and just chopped up roughly. Um, again, sweetness and vitamin C. So the vitamin C helps the iron absorption from the kale. We have then got mint, loads of mint. So I've got loads of mint growing crazy in the garden at the moment. A brilliant excuse to make this. Um, so you can vary the quantities depending on what you've got in at home. Um, if you like mint and lime, um, you can you know, put a banana in, you can put extra things in if you want, um, put more apples in if you've not got kiwis, put other things in, so you can put some lemon in or whatever. So loads of lime in there. And then you're gonna put in there um, the key um, iron rich ingredient, which is like green, green leaves. I've got some kale raw kale you could use spinach also full of iron um, raw and this is ready comes in a bag it's kind of pretty chopped up so really easy and i'm just gonna ram in as much of that as possible so when it gets whizzed it'll, it'll blend down so putting in some of that i also i could put a spartone sachet in too um, i also add a teaspoon of like some super green powder. So you can buy this in all sorts of places and it's got things like um, spirulina and chlorella and wheatgrass and that's got loads of iron and other kind of nutrients in that are really good for you and really good for iron levels. So this tastes really green. So I put maybe a teaspoon in, just up it even more. And you could add in other things like um, spirulina powder, um, maca powder, good for tiredness, other bits and pieces like that, if you use those kind of things, so you don't need to. You can also add in some seeds. So I used to add flax seeds, which are good for omega-3, because I'm vegetarian and it's hard to get those from other foods. So adding some seeds, you can have some seeds, pumpkin seeds. You can add stuff like peanut butter, almond butter, add some more protein and nutrients if you want to. You can add um, oats, again, good for protein. Um, don't put milk in it. Calcium inhibits your iron uptake. So now in here, I'm gonna put some ice in, because um, I like it nice and cold. It's a bit it's a bit full, don't fill it maybe that full, ram it in. Um, and then either top it up with some water, or you could use orange juice, again, or apple juice, ups the vitamin C. So the juice will all help the absorption of the iron. Okay, so. And then whatever blender you've got, put the lid on. It's gonna be really noisy in a minute because I'm gonna blend it, okay? So um, put your fingers in your ears because I know this is really noisy. Three, two, one, okay, here we go. Ooh. 
Okay, so and then you get this lovely green blood, it's not blood colour, this is a beautiful colour. And you can make this add more water if you want runnier. Um well, that's quite thick. I think I said I'd do that again because the kale is quite fibrous. So you want to really get that really smooth. So the high powered blenders are really good for getting rid of the stalky bits, but getting all the goodness in. So you end up with this amazing green colored drink. Keep blending it until it's kind of gone down to this really nice smooth drink. And then you can keep that in the fridge and keep sipping it through the day. But I'm going to do that thing I do on like TV. Like, oh, it's delicious. But actually, it is really good. It's really zingy and refreshing from the lime and the mint. So it disguises the kale or the spinach, the earthiness that you're using, but it just packs in um, and your body can absorb that iron really easily. So that is um, my green smoothie recipe that I mentioned in class, but I just thought it's really, um, it's a really good one for now. It's a really good summer one. It feels like you're having this really delicious kind of mojito style drink, but actually it's really blooming good for you, which is great. So there, um, I'll put the recipe below. It's very kind of ad hoc play with it. You can up the levels, make it sweeter, put more kiwi, put more apple in. It will be sweeter if you put orange or apple juice in, not water. You might like it having that more um, zinginess. So completely up to you. Put more lime in, more mint in, less in, miss the mint out if you don't like it. So that was my green, um, ultimate green smoothie recipe I wanted to share. Um, so yeah, hope you're all well and um, see you soon. Thanks, bye.